At JL Couture, we work really hard to bring products into our store that are, not, that are not available in other places, really unique things. We built a brand around traveling the country and finding product from different designers and bringing them to our small Midwestern town. Another thing that we really focus on is bringing an element of a customer experience that obviously people are not getting by shopping online. So those are some of the things that we do here at Jayala to really encourage people to shop locally. The Brookings Chamber plays an important role. We are a business that helps to promote, connect, and enrich the Brookings area community. So all of our businesses in the community can come to us and we can be that one voice to help solve problems, bring them resources, and just be there to provide what they need so they can be successful. We do have lots of traditions which we embrace here. Um, and one of those is actually a tradition of innovation. And one of the things we've done to meet that demand is to open this retail wine cellar. We can guide you through the process of finding a great bottle of wine from our um, hand-selected collection of wines from around the world. So these make great things to take home for entertaining purposes, so you can wow your guests in the same way that we hope that you're wowed when you visit us. One of the things that makes the pheasant unique is that we really like to get adventurous with our specials and some of our food items. One of them is our ice cream, made from scratch here in-house. Their flavors range from dark chocolate chipotle to candied bacon to dulce de leche. Well, I, there's a variety of ways that the Chamber uh, supports the local uh, community. Obviously a big one is uh, supporting the businesses and the things that impact uh, our business and what we do here in Brookings uh, as a whole. Uh, we also work on a lot of legislative issues. Uh, we've worked hard with the uh, Tourism Bureau and the Brookings Economic Development Corporation as well uh, to really try to uh, develop uh, one voice for Brookings. Here at the Brookings Auto Mall, we're a locally owned dealership with a national franchise tag. We reinvest into youth sporting events and charitable organizations. You know, I get really excited when I see visitors in town, whether it be a youth tournament or a convention that's here, because I know that there's new dollars being put into our economy, being spent at the gas stations, the restaurants, the, the shopping that we have here in Brookings. And I think it's very diversified that we have here. People that come go, oh wow, you have some really unique uh, retail stores and our restaurants. And so every time we fill up the hotels and the restaurants, it puts more dollars churning in our community to, so we can develop a better Brookings. I think one of the things that people forget is that they're a part of organizations that have conferences and events and get-togethers and they're held maybe all over the state, all over the region and I think if more people thought locally they would think, oh we could have this event in Brookings. The nonprofit art and culture community generates over $96 million for the state of South Dakota. Here at the South Dakota Art Museum, we welcome over 150,000 visitors each year from across the United States, and we contribute to those numbers. One of the biggest issues you run into in recruitment is when you're trying to attract a, a large business, their concern is what kind of amenities do we have for their employees to recruit people to Brookings. And the more people that shop local, that helps our retail, it strengthens the retail. We have more retailers, we have more restaurants in town, and more services, and that's what employers need to recruit people for their businesses. About four or five years ago, I noticed that there was a need in the community for a business that provided massage therapy, along with having the ability for a luxurious upscale day spa retreat. Um, here at Crave, we're very proud by the fact that we have been able to create almost 20 full-time positions here in the community. All of us at Crave the Experience are very excited about our business's future here in Brookings. I would say that you know primary accomplishments in the in this past year 2012 certainly would be the recruitment of Bell Brands. Uh, that was a long project, a uh, significant project with a huge economic impact uh, that we anticipate uh, that uh, benefiting the region to the tune of about 160 million dollars every year. <laughs> Here at Chocolate we specialize in customer service. Our customer service is our number one priority. My team is awesome. I hold high expectations for all of them. And it's really fun atmosphere to work in, but then I get to take care of awesome, wonderful customers on a single, everyday basis, and I couldn't enjoy it more. Customer service is definitely our number one priority.
I challenge you. I challenge you. I challenge you. Make the pledge. Make the pledge. I challenge you to make the pledge. I challenge you. Make the pledge. Think local.